But in its meeting with Polish President Andrzej Duda and Prime Minister Donald Tusk comes amid the Biden administration's efforts to overcome opposition from some Republican supporters of former President Donald Trump in Congress before passing a package of additional funding for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan. We are talking about an amount of about $95 billion. The Biden administration has already announced another package of security assistance to Ukraine, weapons and equipment worth $300 million dollars. But it's not nearly enough what we're, I'm announcing today. Congress must pass the bipartisan national security bill now, which includes urgent funding for Ukraine. We must act before it literally is too late, before it's too late. Because as Paul remembers, Russia won't stop at Ukraine. Putin will keep going, putting Europe, the United States and the entire free world at risk, in my view. The allocation of a new aid package was made possible thanks to savings on contracts from previously allocated additional funding. The package contains funds to meet Ukraine's needs for air defense, artillery and anti-tank weapons. The administration of President Biden has submitted a draft budget for the 2025 fiscal year of the U.S. Congress. In this request, the U.S. State Department indicates the need to allocate $482 million to support Ukraine's humanitarian needs. Officials see these funds are a foundation that will definitely be needed in the next fiscal year and also note that this funding should be provided along with the 60 billion dollars relief package our second key priority in this request is to ensure that russia's war in ukraine remains a strategic failure our request also guarantees the resources needed for economic development and humanitarian assistance to the brave and resilient citizens of ukraine rich verma u.s under secretary of state for management and resources voice of america reports the U.S. State Department does not consider the proposal of Congress to provide Ukraine with military aid on credit as the right step. We do not think that saddling uh, Ukraine with billions of dollars of foreign debt when it is um, uh, trying to revive its economy, which ultimately is the best way for it to stand on its own feet, on two feet, and defend itself without aid from other countries is an appropriate step at this time. Polish President Andrzej Duda said that the United States should approve the aid package for Kyiv. The world needs to make sure that Putin does not win the war. Russia's aggression against Ukraine clearly demonstrated that the United States is and should remain the security leader. But other allies must take more responsibility for the security of the alliance as a whole. That is why I believe it's necessary for all NATO countries to increase their defense spending from 2 to 3 percent of GDP. Let us recall that Poland spent almost 4 percent of GDP on defense, which is twice the 2 percent threshold established for NATO members. Also, Polish Foreign Minister Radoslav Sikorski said that Warsaw has joined the Czech Republic's initiative to purchase hundreds of thousands of artillery shells for Ukraine, making a significant financial contribution. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Yulia Bil, UATV News.